Hello, this is Akshar and this time I'm going to explain you about my 10th experiment of my compiler lab. So, what, which was about intermediate code generator. So, what it will do, uh, intermediate code generator is uh, like when your program is going from uh, what you say. See, here's the description. The compiler process can be divided into number of subtasks and things etc. Uh, etc. So once a syntactic construct is uh, determined, the compiler can generate object code. But the compiler creates an intermediate form. Okay. After this uh, creation of this uh, tree, it helps in code optimization and also make it uh, make a clear cut separation between machine independent phases like lexical and syntax, lexical analyzer and syntax analyzer and the machine dependent phase code optimization and code generation. So one form of intermediate code is the parse tree. Okay. Uh, parse tree may contain variables as the terminal node, a binary operation, etc. etc. So what it wants to say is it will create an intermediate file which uh, like such that it will make the code simpler. See suppose we have a string like this a minus a plus b minus c minus d so a simple code would be if it had only one operand in the right side okay so like a plus b will be saved in one variable then b minus c will be in another variable and then the result of that b uh, these three will be uh, will get uh, D will be subtracted from the result of this so this will be a simple code only one operand in the right side so this is what called code optimization is uh, according to this uh, the parse tree might be different okay uh, so let's go to the program first we are getting some integer values then uh, we are getting us we'll get the string and do the manipulation okay then uh, we are also finding the operands explorer etc these are just some functions we are going to use okay now this is the position and this is the op op operator and we are constructing a structure so main file is just calling these functions let's go to the functions directly so we are going to find the operand okay now for i in str i okay that's the string till it's not null okay so what we'll do is uh, we'll find this value and then uh, we'll get the positions of the, of the operand if we have and then again we're gonna we're just reading the file and getting the operands and whatever values were there before the uh, uh, variables before and after the uh, operand we are getting in this format over here okay then explorer what it will do uh, yeah so it is actually doing uh, this part uh, matching part with the uh, equals to symbol okay uh, and then uh, in the left side of the equation uh, we might have an equation with the equals to sign right so we'll get the left side of the equation and do this part and got get get function and uh, do the parsing and then on the left side of uh, sorry this was for the right side of the equation then on the re left side of the equation we'll separate it uh, with these parts uh, like uh, plus minus star etc 
these functions will be calling these parts okay and then see write w plus plus and scrx some some things and flag one this is the uh, right side of the equation and this is the left side of the equation so so this was called from here f right okay with integer minus one and we'll be doing this is the uh, sorry this is not the uh, left yeah this is the left side of the equation sorry right side and this is the left side so it will be separating you uh, using this plus and minus star division etc and then sending these value to these explorers and this find operators okay find operators is just for finding the operator plus minus and then giving the value into this sorry into this and this explorer what it will do is this part this part uh, with the help of f left and f right so that is what it's doing let's run this program and see if it's correct or not so g c c e x 10 dot c so it gave me warning because i used this exit function etc so let's run the program uh, enter the expression okay. a plus b minus c minus d I guess this was the expression, right? Yeah. So as you can see, uh, parse 3 had equated it. So first we took uh, B minus C and uh, we saved it into Z. Then Z minus D is the second part. And that before part was A plus Z minus D. So this is how it is. Uh, creating and equating to a so this is a simple uh, what you, you, you can say is uh, intermediate code generator uh, hence my program is working fine thank you